let me at the outset compliment you for having this conference thought about and you mentioned that we have done away with some of the requirements and that is only because we thought that this conference can add a lot of value to nine branch members at a time and therefore we were very happy to sanction and do away with some of the requirements i was looking at the blend of subjects that you have covered ranging from indirect tax direct tax tax audit icds audit standards on auditing code of ethics office management uh, faceless assessment which is the subject of today i think you have tried to cover every subject that is relevant in today's scenario particularly in the immediate future when we have to carry out these audits and uh, file the returns of the clients today giri sahu judge said that now connection will not be relevant knowledge and skill will be relevant i think i would like to add and say that even collaboration will be very relevant the manner in which expertise is required just look at this speech of honorable member of parliament what are the expectations from auditors he says that fiscal discipline can be ensured by an effective quality audit of course if he is there let me inform the honorable member of parliament that institute is doing everything to ensure that audit quality is of the highest class the institute this year established under the leadership of the president a center for audit quality and you may be aware that the center of audit quality the day before yesterday inaugurated executive master course on audit it is solely on audit quality it is a course for 15 days and apart from the auditing standards documentation everything that is required to be ensured for an effective audit 50% of the sessions are devoted to technology and this is one suggestion that i would like to give to these nine branches also that you have covered the core subjects very well but going forward i think focus on technology will be equally important now you imagine about a year back any of this nine branch would have called itself a small branch some of them say that we are in mofusil area but look at last 6 months the manner in which we have connected with each other virtually shared knowledge shared our views is this area barrier or territorial barrier barrier any more relevant i think this territorial barrier corona virus has demolished completely now in fact you may sit in any part of the world i will not say any part of india sit in any part of the world and you can perform any quality service that a chartered accountant is required to perform it is not necessary to be in a, in mumbai or delhi or any big city and even knowledge is traveling its path on virtual mode so well i was looking at the faculty lineup all prominent faculties have spoken in navratna conference now imagine if each branch had organized this conference separately would you have got the benefit of all these excellent faculties if we take example of giri sahuja ji does he have time to visit all nine branches but today he could address all nine branches because on virtual mode it is possible so think of having a hand on technology we hands on the institute has started wonder wonderful courses see now if we talk of tax audit if we talk of icds when you carry out tax audit of a company or a concern having more than about 50 crores turnover the data is huge 
and it is not possible to manually check the data so if you use robotic processes data analytics then so many inputs you will get readily and it will be computed by data analytics techniques what is required for this purpose you require appropriate audit tools and this year we have given this task to cmp committee it is working hard to come out with audit tools which can be used by small and medium practitioners and big practitioners so going forward use these tools use our digital learning hub where number of programs on information technology are uploaded and they are such value add that your practice will take a different dimension honorable member of parliament was talking about an era where now to ensure fiscal discipline the auditor will have to answer almost to and correct almost although we report on true and fair how is it possible with huge data that we have to analyze it is not possible if it is to be done manually but it would be possible if we are hands on with technology if we have appropriate audit tools and whenever our smell test says that something is fishy and something is doubtful we can apply these tools to find out what is fact so let us focus in future apart from all these core subjects of our practice also on technology it will make our task very easy one more point which i wanted to bring home today is networking so far most of our firms are practicing as proprietary concerns or small firms with two or three partners but time has come when it is necessary for us to collaborate if you are unable to enter into partnership at least use the new networking guidelines which make it possible to collaborate through networking if you do that you will be able to render services or what we call bouquet of services which clients expect these services in indirect tax field direct tax field auditing and even advisory one more point which i wanted to highlight today that now many areas of our practice will have a sunset that is those areas of Mute, sir. Deep, sir. You can hear now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think I was centrally unmuted, so the administrator can take care of it. I have removed it now. So I was talking on. I don't know how much you missed, but I was talking about the new areas of practice, like if compliances do not remain. again and again it is getting again, again. muted automatically i think ensure that our profession will deliver quality service to clients and for that we will use all these